you know, basically mom's goal, what I was always told was to keep the farming around so that if one of us kids, one of me or my three brothers and sisters were interested in farming, um, that we had the opportunity to. So that was what mom did. And um, in 1990, we had a fire and lost the 100 cow tie stall or 95 cow tie stall. And she wanted to build back another 100 cow tie stall like what was originally there. And that wasn't an option. She couldn't get a, anybody to finance that. And uh, took on a partner and she built a 350 cow freestall. And uh, she started growing that business. And uh, right now we're farming 2,500 acres of land and milking 1,100 cows. Raising our kids here has been, uh, it's a great way to teach them the core values of if you take care of animals properly, they're going to take care of you. Uh, if you take care of the land properly, it's going to take care of you. There's an awful lot of, I don't know, day-to-day -day learning that goes on around here and it's been great to be able to share that with them, you know, to watch the kids, you know, now they each own their own, couple of their own cows. The science fair project, you know, Tad did was the, uh, he wanted to do an anaerobic digester. So he made a, a little anaerobic digester out of a 55 gallon drum and, you know, made, captured some methane and fed the thing every day. You know, then he cleaned it up and took it into school and, and showed it off and, you know, got a lot of weird looks because it stunk so bad. <laughs> the family aspect is great, you know, them being the seventh generation, I think that that, you know, keeps me going every day to, to know that, uh, you know, you've taken something and building it and maybe somebody else will want to go up and keep going with it. The guys that are working here today, I want them to be here because they want to be here, not because they have to. Um, you know, I do whatever I could for them and, and they'll in turn, they do whatever they can for us and it's, it's a good feeling to have. People that uh, are driving truck for me right now that have, you know, I've known since I was in diapers, you know, so it's, uh, you know, I thank God for them and I, really appreciate everything that they do for us. This place wouldn't be here if, if mom didn't make it a point to make sure that it was here and uh, very grateful for that and I think that there's a lot of people that benefit from it. She's a, a very strong woman that I admire very much.